friends, it's Jarissa. Welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time, welcome. I make videos about DIYs and home decor. Today I'm going to be showing you three IKEA hacks that are super easy and super affordable and that I feel like turned out really cute. I'm going to be showing you how to make a throw pillow, a cart and also a doormat. If you like this video and you enjoy these hacks, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing if you haven't already so you will never miss my videos. Yeah, so without any further ado, let's get into the video. When I saw this cart, I felt like it was the perfect storage for any place. Putting it together was really easy as the instructions are clear and it also comes with a little tool to tighten the screws. I decided to put the wheels on because it's easier to move, but you can also keep them off and use this as a simple shelf. I started to glue the macrame cord all around the top to make it look a little bit more boho. I would wrap it around a couple of times and then I would add little bits of glue until it was done. I also added a little bit on the bars to make it look like the bars were being held together by the macrame. Once it was done, I went ahead and measured these placemats that I had from Walmart because I wanted to make it look like cane. I trimmed it to fit inside the baskets and then I spray painted it with this beautiful paint that I got from Amazon. Once that was done, I just laid it inside the basket and styled it. You can use this in any room that you want, like your kitchen or your bathroom or whatever you put it, it's gonna look super cute. I love the natural tone of this rock and I feel like you can do a lot of cute things with it. I started by taking off the tags and measuring where I was going to glue it. And started by gluing the sides, but I'm going to leave one side open. If you want, you can also use E6000, or if you don't have glue, you can also sew this by hand. This step is optional, but I decided to give it a little bit more detail by adding a simple stitch all around the edges. This one is called the blanket stitch. I use this twine that I had at home and a yarn needle that I got from Amazon. As you can see, I was going back and forth until it looked like it was a U. It is a lot faster if you are doing it on a side that doesn't have the fringe. I found this design on Pinterest and I decided to recreate it. After you draw it with a pencil, all you need to do is to put the glue down first and then start to add your rope. This part is very self-explanatory, but I just made sure that I added extra glue where the rope was overlapping with itself. Then I took the filling from an old pillow that we had at home and closed that side with the glue and repeated the same stitch that I had on the other sides. I love how this one turned out and I feel like the contrast in the colors makes it look very interesting. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm planning on redoing the front porch so I decided to make a cute boho doormat to go with it. I started by measuring the middle and then marked it down with some tape. I found this design on Pinterest and I felt like it was really cute so I decided to recreate it. I had outdoor paint from Lowe's in my garage and this is what I'm using. I noticed that the best way to do this is to dip the brush into the paint and then tap it on top of the doormat. Get creative with this and do something that is going to make you smile every time you look at it. I kept on adding the curves until it looked similar to the one in the picture. These were all the things that I had to share. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.